Blox models are used to demonstrate electrolysis and some oxygen chemistry. The electrolysis of water is simple when you recognize the structure of water. But first I want to draw your attention to the bonding electrons in the hydrogen-oxygen bond. One electron on the hydrogen side of the bond assumes a quantum spin-up state, S equals plus one-half, and the oxygen electron in the bond is in its mi S equals minus one-half quantum spin-down state, which makes these bonds consistent with the Pauli exclusion principle. Also seen in these water models are the dipole moments, oxidation states, and when in an electro electrolytic cell, the polarity of the molecule would orient as seen here because oxygen is electronegative and the hydrogens are electropositive. Four electrons in the cell are emitted by the cathode and drawn to the electropositive side of the hydrogen. The hydrogen is protonized and picks up an electron. This is the overall reaction. Some intermediate mechanistic steps will be shown. The hydrogens are in their plus one oxidation state on the H2O. When they go towards the cathode, they are reduced from plus one to the zero oxidation state of hydrogen gas, and they collect at the cathode. At the anode, oxygen is oxidized of its four electrons, completing the cell and putting oxygen in its zero oxidation state when it forms oxygen gas. Here's the triplet state of oxygen, and it collects here at the anode. Now some of the radicals and anions form during electrolysis. This is the stable triplet state of oxygen with two unpaired electrons. Sometimes it can form its much less stable singlet state. The singlet state can form a superoxide ion by picking up an electron. And then it can pick up a proton and form a hydrogen peroxide radical. Another hydrogen will form the hydrogen peroxide. The hydrogen peroxide can split to form two hydroxyl radicals, which can then pick up an electron and make the hydroxyl anion. Now I want to show ozone. Ozone is shown here with the oxygens, three oxygens. Usually it is shown with a central oxidized oxygen and a positive and negative ionic oxygen at the ends. During UV uh, photon absorption, perhaps an electron can move around the ozone or bump each other around the ozone to the cationic oxygen, which will invert the ionic states.